Okay, so somebody asked me to describe what it is that we do whenever we're asleep. <clears throat> so I thought I'd give it a go. So think of the earth layer upon layer of energy grids that go deeper and deeper and deeper all the way down. As, as it goes down uh, deeper and deeper, it gets more and more and more complex. And in order to get to the third dimension, these energy grids were um, weakened and the vibration was lowered and the energy that was running through them were less and less and less. As <clears throat> Gaia moved into the fifth dimension, there are different layers of these energy grids that moved into the higher vibrations. So the higher uh, vibrations, the ones that were the, on the outside of the planet were closest to that higher vibration. So they, the vibration energy was given to that energy grid to power it and to increase the vibration, the frequency, and then it moved into the fifth dimension. Then that's attached to the next layer and the next layer and the next layer and the next layer and the next layer. Now we're at about... 80 some percent of the planet is now in fifth dimension in all of those layers that have been moved to fifth dimension there were star seeds that were attached to those layers and it was a it's a continuous thing it's like one layer is connected to the next connected to the next connected to the next and all along that process there were star seeds that when they were sleeping they went onto that grid, that energy grid, and corrected the the all of the little all of the little mesh pieces in that energy grid and infused them with power. So if there's a part of the energy grid that was just barely moving, there was barely any energy going through it, they would infuse it with energy, strengthen that part of the energy grid, and then all of them work together in that aspect moved into the fifth dimension okay now we're at the very very smallest part of Gaia the most intricate the most broken the lowest amount of energy part of the planet that we're correcting we're fixing to get it to fifth dimension many many star seeds that were here came from other creations where they had expertise in fixing these energy grids in such a way. Or they were good at transferring energy. Uh, some of them were good at intricately fixing these little uh, bridges in this energy grid, and some were good at infusing the energy that were on this grid. Now, the sm lower down you go, the more complex this grid is, the more pieces are broken, the more energy it requires to infuse in the whole grid to increase the frequency to get it to fifth dimension. So even though the majority of Gaia is in the fifth dimension with a lot of star seeds that were involved in that, they're already in the fifth dimension. They'll be standing there whenever you get there. This part of it is this last part of it is the core, the, it's very, very complicated. It's very thick lattice work of energy that has to be corrected. And then all of it has to be infused with a big burst of energy. So every time, like what happened last week, a couple weeks ago, whenever that energy comes in from source through the central sun, through our sun to Gaia, to the core of Gaia, then that's like this energy hit that goes through a part of that energy grid to infuse it with the energy needed to go to the next part that's broken. And then there'll be a lot of work done in the middle of the night to correct all of that part of the energy grid. And then there'll be another big burst of energy that kind of goes into that energy grid that fuels and lights up that part and we just keep engine 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 around the planet correcting infusing with energy and correcting fusing with energy and then increasing the frequency to get to the fifth dimension 
So that's what a lot of the star seeds are doing. And a lot of the star seeds come from jobs or creations where they have a lot of experience in doing what they're doing. So no matter what level they were at, whether they were the first star seeds that were the first ones to move off into 5D or the star seeds that are working now, there is an expertise that you come with, a, a job that you are good at, that you do whenever you're asleep. So during the day, whenever you're being a human, that's the reason why I promote be happy, be happy, be happy. Because what you are doing when you are asleep, out of body per se, is going on and has been happening your whole entire life. Star seeds that are, I would say, about 45 years old and over and older that are here working on that grid have pretty much been put in really traumatizing situations so that our vibration is low enough that we can out of body get to that grid that is very very broken very very low vibration so we we have to match that vibration to get in there to fix it and then we have to channel in energy, a much higher vibratory frequency energy, into the part that we fixed so that we can go to the next part that we fixed. So a lot of the older star seeds have been through a lot of trauma so that they can access that part of the grid so that we can fix it to get the last of Gaia up to 5D. How is that? Does that make sense to everybody? I think that's the best way of explaining how it works. So whether or not you are doing what you think you should be doing as an adult human walking around uh, doesn't really matter because I guarantee you, you are doing what you're supposed to be doing out of body when you're asleep. Now, anybody that is about 30 and younger, that's a whole different generation of star seeds. And from 30 younger and especially anyone that was born from 2012 on these are star seeds that have been they're not correcting things they are fueling it they're keeping it the way it's supposed to be with direct energy from source to keep the vibration up as the rest of it joins to go to the fifth dimension so the younger star seeds that eventually all the beings on the planet will be star seeded, high vibratory beings in the fifth dimension. Uh, the newer ones, they were born that way. And then the older ones will either correct it, fix it, stay alive, and go to fifth dimension, or we will stay, do our work, die, and go on to doing something else in our next life. Does that make sense? So it's very, very complex how this is all being done. It is, a, it is a much bigger deal to raise a whole planet's vibration to another dimension than it is just one single human body. Uh, generally speaking, it's the same process, but it's much uh, more complex. It's a much bigger deal to do that. And that's what's been being done, and that's what is being done as we speak. Hopefully, that will answer the question on what we do whenever we're asleep. Okay? All right, guys. Huge hugs. I love you so much, and I'll talk to you later. Bye now.